You're gonna need an old pair of jeans, zip ties, and an embellishment to make this denim messy bow. So listen, let's be honest. Were jorts ever really in season? Um, I have no problem cutting up these jorts that were $2 from the thrift store. You can find denim fabric just about everywhere you look if you keep your eyes open. So once you cut out a reasonable square, I'm gonna cut these little one inch notches in the denim and tear them apart, uh, making these denim strips. So it doesn't matter if they're perfect, just get them torn into strips and the more strips you make, the fluffier your bow. So I went ahead and cut some additional fabric out because that was not gonna be enough. There was a jagged edge, so I cut those straight and just continue the process using more fabric as needed from these jorts. For those of you who aren't familiar, jorts are jean shorts. So I took the trim, the hemming off, it's a little thick for the bow, and just cut, like I said, a workable section at a time, and then just made these one inch notches and tore them by hand. The tearing is gonna create that fun frayed look that we're looking for in our messy bow. Once you have a nice stack of these denim strips, I cut off any completely jagged edges and cleaned up any of the threads that were um, hanging off of the fabric just to kind of give us a cleaner piece of a fabric to work with. All of these strings created quite a mess, which kind of lends to the fact that it's a messy bow. Now we're gonna take each of the strips and lay them down in a crisscross circular pattern, making our messy bow. Once you have them down, you're gonna take these cable ties or zip ties and thread it underneath the bottom, tying it loosely and then flipping it over working the zip tie towards the back of your bow. Once you have it there, you can tighten the zip tie and shake off your messy bow. At this point, I normally would trim the strips, but I'm not going to because it's denim. And I'm gonna embellish it with this brooch. It's convenient that it pins, and I don't have to use any glue, but if yours didn't have a pin, you could always use hot glue to add the embellishment. This turned out so cute. There are so many uses. Check out my blog for all the ways that I used this adorable denim messy bow. If you love this DIY, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel for more.